Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we saw the types of reactors which use uranium-235 as fuel. In this video, we'll talk about a type of reactor which can use the non-fissile uranium-238 to produce more fuel. Wonder what the term fissile means? As we have seen in previous videos, uranium-235 is fissile, which means it is capable of sustaining a nuclear fission chain reaction. But the abundance of this isotope in natural uranium is just 0.7%. Uranium-238, on the other hand, is about 99.2% of the total natural uranium. Despite the abundance, it is not fissile. However, uranium-238, on being bombarded by a neutron, transforms it into uranium-239. Uranium-239 then loses an electron and transforms into neptunium-239, which by losing another electron finally transforms into plutonium-239. The plutonium-239 obtained is fissile and can be used as a fuel. By this process, the nuclear reactors can produce more fissile material than they consume. Such reactors are called breeder reactors. Let's see one of the most promising types of breeder reactors, namely liquid metal fast breeder reactor. Liquid metal fast breeder reactors have a mixture of non-fissile uranium-238 and fissile plutonium-239 as fuel. The fuel is surrounded by a blanket of uranium-238. This blanket captures the neutrons produced in the fission and transforms the uranium-238 to plutonium-239. Unlike other conventional reactors that use water as a coolant, liquid metal fast breeder reactors use liquid sodium as a coolant. Liquid sodium is used because it does not absorb neutrons as much as water and is also a good thermal conductor. As the nuclear fission occurs in the core, the liquid sodium in the primary loop transfers the heat to the intermediate liquid sodium loop through a heat exchanger. The intermediate loop has liquid sodium as coolant. The heat from liquid sodium metal in the intermediate loop is used to generate steam from water in a steam generator. This steam is further sent to drive a turbine and return as water through a condenser. The reactor can be refueled by natural uranium once all the uranium-238 is converted to plutonium-239. Thus, a breeder reactor can produce more fissile material than it consumes. There are other advantages of breeder reactors. Let's talk about them. A breeder reactor can use the spent fuel from the conventional fission reactors. Apart from using spent fuel, the breeder reactors use uranium-238, which is far more abundant than uranium-235. One more advantage of reusing the fuel is that the cost for mining and processing of ore are minimized. Apart from the advantages, the breeder reactors have some disadvantages as well. The use of liquid sodium as coolant can cause problems as, on exposure to air or water, it reacts violently. Also, the plutonium produced is highly toxic even in small amounts. In addition to that, the construction and operation of breeder reactors is very expensive and economically infeasible. Although the construction is expensive, a liquid metal fast breeder reactor can be used to produce more fuel than consumed, thus producing fuel over time rather than consuming it. Well, this is all about liquid metal fast breeder reactors. We'll be back with more interesting videos. Until then, bye!